Hey everyone and thanks for stopping by to this video. Now I've got a very interesting toy in front of me that I'm quite excited about. So this is the Pikachu walking toy basically. Uh, and this is unique because it's based on the costume character that appears at events across you know, the globe. So when you're at like say a launch event or something like that or just a general Pokemon Go type of event, you'll see this costume character um, which everyone loves to take pictures with and hug and touch and all sorts. So this toy is quite interesting and I was very excited to get this just today actually. So it actually only came out on Saturday 1st of August in Japan and I've got this uh, within a few days because of DHL. I got this from Amazon so that was uh, really really cool. Amazon Japan uh, FYI. So this is from Takara Tomy and you can see the packaging in front uh, has a nice window display cut out of uh, Pikachu itself and then a costume character toy inside. It looks very, 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 very adorable. Uh, the packaging is super cute. So I'll show you the rest of the packaging too. So at the top is just the name of the product as well. Pikachu walks by your core. And then some Japanese text. You do need batteries, by the way. So AAA batteries are required, two of them. They're not included in this. Um, even though it feels like it is because the box is a little bit weighty, uh, but that's because it's the toy itself. So on the uh, one side, you've got some actions of what Pikachu can do, uh, some of its movements. There's a little challenge, let's go Pikachu challenge that you've got to do, and I'll show you that uh, soon. And then on the reverse side, some more actions. The top kind of says about you might have met this Pikachu at events, and now you can have this in your own home. Of course, this is you know minuscule in size compared to the real costume character, but here we go. And then on the other side is even more of what this Pikachu can do. So it's cheeks light up red it has different sound effects so one of them is when it does its uh, abilities or its attacks so uh, thunder shock thunderbolt etc so when it kind of gets a little bit agitated the way it does it, it, it i'm not going to mimic it but it's really really cool how that sounds You've got a more a loving approach or how it's trying to greet someone or approach someone uh, it's got that kind of sound too and it's got a, also got like a, a song it's singing one now i showed you that in the beginning of the video that's actually a secret song the one that pops up more often is a lullaby. So the secret one, I will show you how to do very, very soon. And then it just kind of tells you how to uh, put the batteries in and uh, mentioning a sleep mode as well. So that's the packaging. On the bottom actually is just usual kind of uh, terms and stuff or warranty stuff for the uh, toy. So let's get this thing open. It's very, very simple to open. There's not a lot to it actually. So I'm gonna carry on. So there's just a tape here. I'm just gonna cut Put that away. And then I like to try and open my boxes carefully. I try to avoid this crease if I can. Not always possible. Plastic out. So inside, there's not really a lot. There's this little leaflet. You guys can use this if you want. So this is some campaign promo uh, for our Takara Tomy toys. I think you get maybe points or something with that. And all it comes in is just this plastic blister. This little bit flap folds out and then you can take out Pikachu. Pretty simple, so I'm gonna put the plastic aside. And here is the Pikachu. Now, first thing you might notice, and you may have noticed it within the box itself, is this isn't just a plastic Pikachu toy. It's finished in a kind of fur-like texture. It's not like fur, really, um, but it's definitely like a fabric texture. Here, you can see a closer look. I wish you could feel it because it does feel quite nice and it reminds me a lot of um, He-Man Battle Cat. I think it was the Battle Cat or it was Skeletor's one uh, that had this kind of textured feeling to it. My brother had that as a toy and I distinctly remember that feeling. So this brings back a lot of memories just from the feeling alone. So it's really cool that they've gone with this textured approach rather than just a solid you know, yellow hunk of plastic. This has a bit of weight to it, by the way, as I mentioned, it, it, there are no batteries in this, but it is a pretty weighted toy. So you definitely don't want to, you know, chuck this to a young child to make them catch it because it probably will hurt them if they if they miss and it, hurt, it hits their head or something. So I would avoid doing that. Um, it's not a soft toy at all. It's, it is a hard plastic toy. Um, but again, the textured finish on it is really, really cool. So I really like how clean it looks. Like that's something that really appealed to me straight away. The costume character is a very, very clean looking costume as well. So 
the, the mimicking this in a toy form is really really good and it mimics it throughout the toy minus the black tips of the ears i'm not sure why the black tips were left out from that textured feeling um, it, it would have been nice if they did finish it with that just to kind of complete the overall look leaving the cheeks have that textured feel to them as well they're slightly different just because of the paint but it is still textured but it's really really cool and cleanly done the cheeks are nice and circular as well my other one has a slight fraying around the edges but i think it's just going to be a really minor minor difference between your individual toy and then the mouth looks great the eyes looks look great the shape of it looks really really great it's a really really adorable looking pikachu and you got the feet too and then yeah you got the plastic bottoms too the soles you might say with screws in them you don't need to touch those at all and then there's little piddly arms which do move and then the reverse you've got his tail so just like the costume character the tail is stuck to the back you can't remove the tail separately it is connected to his back which is where you put the batteries you have to unscrew this so i'm going to show you that very shortly the speaker out outlet or output and then the on off so this little uh, re, uh bit right here that's sticking out that is just to say that's the on position at the moment it's in off so generally when it comes to the way this figure looks and feels it's really 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 nice like i, I really can't fault it that much i guess if i had to be picky then i would just say the back compartment this whole battery compartment is a little bit different in tone of yellow compared to the main body so this is a little bit more of a yellow this is a bit more pale depending on how this video turns out in the end though this toy actually you might think is a little bit pale yellow anyway even compared to the costume character itself and is more reminiscent in the yellow that happens in or features in a lot of the video game titles so in animation he's very very distinctly yellow whereas in a video game his 3d model can be a little bit on the pale side so that's just something i wanted to point out anyway i've talked a lot so i'm going to unscrew this guy here so it's really simple shouldn't be too complicated of course it's just one screw if you are young then ask your parent to handle this i haven't unscrewed it fully so let's carry on this is quite exciting There we go and that's how you take off the battery cover now it just takes two AAA batteries like i said the package insists on using alkaline batteries i don't think i have those so i've only got uh well i think i've got mixed batteries the other pikachu i have has a uh, acid ones i think it's naughty i know so what you got to do is put the battery in these should be charged i hope and i'm not going to screw the cover back just because uh, i'm a grown-up i don't need worry about that it doesn't really come off unless you pull it off but for the purpose of this demonstration and video i'm just going to leave it loose like that and before i turn this on um because it's noise activated it's going to make a lot of responsive noises based on when i talk and when it hears noise so just to kind of explain it to you so you just say a noise or you can say its name anything actually so i'm an english speaker so i just say pikachu's name or hey and it will respond um and that's it really it's very very simple toy it's a kid's toy at the end of the day it's great for little toddlers and babies just kind of have something happening and something interactive to happen with them so i'm going to turn this on and then you can see what's going to happen so when you turn it on it greets you straight away and its cheeks light up now pause deliberately so i can hear its response so it was kind of tired or fatigued in in that response and you can see its cheeks light up red hopefully and its arms flailing in action now the motor's a bit loud which is a little bit disappointing i kind of hoped maybe we've gone past that point in life to kind of get you know quieter motors but this guy is very very adorable and cute when he responds now i have to pause just to give him time to respond to re respond back to me so i don't need to say anything directly to it and I don't need to even say his name. I can even clap my hands. Like this. So many different noises will activate the Pikachu, which is quite cool. And again, if you've got a small child, then they'll pro probably have quite a lot of fun having responses, responses back from Pikachu in a very, very cute manner. So, I will follow this video or continue this video with every single sound 
that I've identified that, that this Pikachu can do. So the secret response that I haven't spoken about is part of the Let's Pikachu challenge that was mentioned on the back of the box. That's pretty easy to do actually. So all it is is you need to inundate Pikachu with a whole lot of noise. So that's why I turned him off or had to pause uh, whilst I was talking so he doesn't end up doing the secret song. That's a very cool song. So you heard the lullaby that he does but this is the actual Pikachu song. So I'm going to turn him on and then all I'm going to do is repeat his name as an example. Mika, Mika. So he says hello in the beginning. So here we go. And that's how you do the secret song. It's super cute, right? Super, super cute. Now he's just showing off. I'm going to turn him off right now. Now I'm going to turn him off and carry on talking about this without being disturbed. Sorry, Pikachu. So, like I said, it responds to you in a few different ways. It has various or several different ways to respond. It can vary from being quite happy, quite tired. Um, uh, there's an idle one as well. So if you've left the Pikachu for a little bit and it's got no kind of sound coming to it, then it will make a very slight uh, response to that. Uh, kind of just as seeking your attention. And then if you leave it for about 10 minutes, then it will go into full sleep mode. Uh, and it will have a unique response just for that sleep mode. So from what I just showed with this video, yes, you have to wait 10 minutes in silence just for it to do that unique sound, which is still quite cute. Um, but yeah, there's several emotions and responses Pikachu has, which I think toddlers will really, really enjoy. So I'm really looking forward to showing my little nieces this actually, even my nephew, and he's you know probably too old for this now anyway. But it's very, very cute. Now, one thing, I, a couple of things actually I want to go back to in terms of the actual design of it. So like I said, it is very, very clean looking and it's got that kind of textured feel to it. Um, there's a downside to that because it means that you can get a little bit of dust and hair on this. So if you've got a dusty room like mine, I know, then yeah, this will attract it quite a bit, but you can use a lint roller to clear that away. Um, so this is just something I kind of realized. So make sure your hands are quite clean when you do handle this. You don't want to have any oily fingers or chocolate smothered fingers or anything like that just you know if it's hair like i said lint roller will be quite enough for this but that's one downside to this kind of style of toy that it can get a little bit dusty or hairy if you like and all in all that's really my only negative about this well maybe two negatives so the first being as i mentioned the uh, the texture feeling getting a bit dusty and then the loudness of the motor those are really my only two issues with the with the toy. Um, now, in terms of price, this is actually around, I think, 3,000 yen for the retail price in Japan. You can get it a little bit cheaper. I got it quite early on Amazon Japan for about 2,000 yen or 2,500 yen. 
But then of course I have to pay for UK shipping and customs on top of that. So for me, this, just one of these cost around 30 pounds and it'll probably cost you about that if you go to find it elsewhere. I'll put some links in the description box below where you can find uh, this Pikachu still in stock. It might not be in stock by the time you check it. So yeah, keep an eye out on it. But overall, I really, really, really like this Pikachu. It's super cute. I don't tend to go for non Pokemon Center stuff, but this one was way too unique to just pass up. So I'm glad I got it, but not just one. So I've got one Pikachu, two Pikachu, three Pikachu, four Pikachu, five Pikachu. So I want to try and get them to do the Pikachu song all at once. So it's going to take me a few tries. So let's see how many I can do. Hopefully I can get it on the first try, but I'm going to have to silence them first and let them say the hello once I turn them all on and then uh, do my whole Pikachu inundating noise before they can all sing. So I'm not going to show you all how many takes it's going to take me. Hopefully it won't take me too long, but I'll show you the result of it.